Hello everyone. Welcome to this week's video. This is a very special week. Finally, we are in the week of Christmas. When you look at this video on Monday, we will just be four days away from Christmas celebration. And although it is a Christmas with a major difference, not only locally, not only in your state, not only in America, but the entire world. But one thing we cannot lose focus of, that in the midst of everything that is happening, everything that we're happy or sad about, God is in the midst. And that for certain, it is not changing. His love, his guidance, his support, it's not going anywhere. We just have to tap into it. So let's go. Hello, my name is Paula Simon, a believer who 25 plus years ago made a decision that changed my life, strengthened my faith, which led to a closer walk with God. This is a channel that encourages women to be more proactive in their lives and to embrace changes one step at a time. And if you are new to this channel, welcome. I hope it will able to be of service to you. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on your notification button. And if you're a returning viewer or a subscriber, welcome, welcome also. As I said in the introduction, we are in Christmas week. And this Christmas, if we go according to guidelines and recommendation, it will really be a Christmas of difference. It will be a smaller gathering. We'll be more cautious where we're going and what we're doing. But in this midst, we still have a golden opportunity to exercise God's teaching, his words, his guidance, and also seek his guidance and put into place whatever he had placed in our hearts. We had a challenging year, and to an extent, we still have a few more days. But in the midst of all of that, we have that confidence that our Father is going to work everything out for us. I know it would be sad this Christmas. I know for certain I have a friend who lose her dad and another friend who lose not only his brother, but also his brother-in-law. And he recently had the bout of the virus. So in some homes, there would be a heavy sense of sadness because you would be reminiscing, okay, last Christmas we had this body here and we had that body here. And even those that are still alive, you might not able to be with them for several reasons. Is that you might have just been tested for the virus or because of their health challenges, their health be, might be a bit compromised so you can't be with them. And in some cases, for some families, they weren't touching it either way with the, with the virus. There wasn't a sickness. There wasn't a loss of job. There wasn't any loss. The only thing that changed for them is that they had all these additional, much needed restrictions because you know when we say restrictions it sounds like if it's something negative and it's so bad against us but guys just look around you just look at the news and over 300,000 people have died as I record this video it's 311,000 some hundred by the time you actually see this video it might be 315,000 I don't know but it cannot be so it is not there when so many people dying and people in the hospital. And I spoke to two of my friends who had the virus and they were coughing so badly. Some is complaining about chest pain. Some is complaining about body aches. So it is there. And the worst part about it is that it's something that we cannot see. You know, there's always said there's an elephant in the room. Really and truly, we, we, don't, we can't even say this is an elephant. We don't know what it is because it's there and there's no way for us to tell that it is there until we are affected, until we start showing symptoms. And then even some people are not even showing symptoms. So with all our hopes and all our excitement and all we need to visit family and friends and we want to get together, we have to move with caution. We have to move with 
I wouldn't even say knowledge. We have to move with smarts in the sense that we have something that is among us that we have no control of. But it is there. The evidence are there. So we have to move different. And we have to ask God to help us to sometime apply wisdom and give us the strength to do the right thing because it talks at our heart. In my case for this year, I would not be with the two most important people in my life. There's my daughter, my granddaughter. I could remember, especially Robin, because she's more recent. I was there when she born. I was in the hospital room. I was for her first Christmas. I could remember when she started to talk. I think it was her second Christmas. She came into the bedroom. Grandma, grandma, let's go downstairs and open presents. It was so funny because I wanted to know who told you you have any presents to get. But I have all those pictures. I have all those videos and I have all the memories. And on average, we talk about four or five times per day. So I could imagine Christmas morning will be there when the first present, present open and all the everything. The mother might be recording it and I'd be looking at it live. But I could have never envisioned the day where I am this close and yet still would not be part of her Christmas. But it is so. We had to make a decision, right? Okay, I had so many other Christmases with her. Would I take the chance to have just one more Christmas when I have the opportunity of being there, who knows, for the next 20, 30 years? So we made that decision. For some, it would, might not be that easy. It might be more a hard tug. But whatever it is, remember that it's not only you involved, it's your loved ones. Operate with caution and trust God in the process. He will help you with whatever feelings you're feeling by being away from them, especially the ones that lose a loved one. And in some families that had three or four members of the family pass away, this Christmas has to be extremely, extremely hard for them. And although it's hard for me to be away from Robin and Kenya now, I am still so blessed that they are alive, they're well, I could talk to them, they have no health challenges. So for this Christmas, I have to make a decision to be away from them. As I said, to each his own. But in the midst of all of this, please operate with caution. Please operate in caution. Because it's not only you would be affected, but everyone else who will come in contact with you. And just continue trusting God in the process. So guys, if this video had been any help to you, please comment in this comment section below. Let me know how you would be handling your Christmas differently. Because this is a lot of talk. This is a lot of going back and forth. Should I do or should I not? I had made a decision earlier said I would have been meeting with a friend and then I had to call and retract that invite because for the moment, everything sounds well. I guess we will be sitting together. We will be running remote. We will be getting, catching up with all the information we couldn't catch up on, on the phone. But then as my two friends called me, I think it was the Holy Spirit and they were coughing. One was coughing so badly that they had to say, oh, we talk later because the cough is, this thing down on me, okay, Paul, you will get this few hours with your friend, someone that I know for years, and we spend a lot of time together. And in fact, at least but once a week, we talk on the phone. But you will spend these few hours, but look what will happen afterwards. So, you know, many days I went going back and forth about it, but I finally decided to. And I think that was the best decision. So let me know how you handle in this crisis this situation, this challenge, let me know in the comment section how you're going to deal with it with your family. And remember, is that we are wrong for Christmas? It is big stuff. It's not a regular Christmas. It missed us, but then passed us. You know, they have a saying back home again, they said, we'll miss you and pass you. And this is a clear indication. It missed some of us, but it's not passed. So we cannot get ourselves so caught up. Well, oh, I've been how many months and I've been here and I haven't gotten infected. Okay, you haven't gotten infected, but it could be as yet. So if we do not put throw caution to the wind and behaving like if everything is normal, we would suffer. 
will miss you and pass you. Right? So guys, have a blessed week. And most of all, in whatever way you choose which best for your family, it's up to you. But enjoy your Christmas. I know this Christmas, it's a special, special, special Christmas. And it's special in one way. I pray to God it, that it don't ever be special in this way again. So guys, take care. And I'll talk to you after Christmas. Bye.